So there is a question uh, asking why have I labeled the axes as x1, x2, x3 while also using x1, x2, x3 to denote the position vector of particle p. Of course, that is an abuse of notation. Um, the reason I did it at this stage was to keep it simple. Um, we all know what we mean by x1, x2, x3 when I label a set of axes by those uh, labels. Um, we also tend to know what x1, x, that x1, x2, x3 is often used for points. As we get deeper into, uh, into the description, in particular, in actually just a couple of segments, as we start talking in more detail about how we will represent vectors, we are going to make a difference here. We are going to use different notation for the axes. Uh, however, we will continue with uh, this sort of notation, x1, x2, x3, for the coordinates of a point. Okay? So the answer is really that for now, just to, just to keep things simple and not straight away start introducing notation uh, a little prematurely, I have chosen to go with this. And hopefully it's not too confusing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that everybody just understands um, almost at a colloquial level what I'm trying to say here.